guys, it's me Lorenzo and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use Photoshop and make Minecraft thumbnails. And if you want to learn how to do this with Photoshop, but you don't have Photoshop, if you like this video and I get 10 likes on this, you'll get to learn how to get Photoshop for free. So just like, subscribe, comment on this video, and you might see a tutorial on how to get Photoshop for free. So first off, we're going to start with getting ourselves a background. So what you want to do here is go to Google or whatever search engine you have and look up Minecraft background HD and what you do is you go to images and find one that lo looks good for you so I think I'm gonna get um I'm gonna grab this one real quick so you click on it here wait for it to load up like this and once it's clear you hit copy image and if you don't want to do that right away to make sure you just hit open image and new tab and if it pops up full screen like this if it's HD then you're good you hit copy image right click copy image and then you can click on Photoshop and hit control V what you do when it's too big you have to grab the edge hold shift and then you drag in and then you fit it to fit the frame. You pull it to fit the frame. Hold shift, drag it in, and there we go. That's a nice background. And what you want to do first is you go to filter, select blur, and go to Gaussian blur. So you want to do that so that everything is not being distracted by the background. Next, what you want to do is you want to go to Nova Skins and you want to find your Minecraft skin. Or if you don't want to put your skin in there, find some image to make it more appealing. What you do is you look up your username, type it in, hit enter, and then hit load. And then add to base. And then you could have your skin right here. And what I like to do is I like to go to uh, pose right here at the top. I hit random pose. And then I adjust to how I like. I normally like having him tilted towards the left or to the right whichever way I want him to face so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him a diamond sword like so and I'm gonna have him hold it exactly like this and make sure that I like it the way I want I'm gonna change the holding rotation a bit there we go looks pretty good just one more to the left and that should be perfect just turn his body a bit this way and I think that's good for me. So what you do is you click on photo, right click on the image, you pick copy image, and then you exit out of Google Chrome. And once you're back in Photoshop, what you do is you click on the layer and you do control V. Once it's right here, it's nice and easy. You should want it to be bigger. So you do control T and you hold shift and alt and drag out to make it bigger. And you want to place it in the uh, lower third or higher third or however you want. And flip it towards the way whatever you want them to face. I personally like him going right here. So I'm going to make him a bit bigger. And then you hit this check mark. Once he's like this, you don't want to have this black background. So you click on the lasso tool. You right click it and then click magnetic lasso tool. And once you do that, you got to outline your character like so and also what you want to do is you want to change the width the feather and the contrast and frequency to however you want I like to put mine pretty high so that I can't have any mistakes but sometimes you don't want it to be so condensed so it doesn't take so long once you're about this far you have gotta keep being careful and if you mess up like this you can hit delete and then keep hitting it until you're satisfied with how it looks. Sometimes with my skin, it's kind of tricky because it's all black, but I can make it work by just being really careful. Bam. Now once it's fully masked like this, you hold a control shift and then I, and you hit delete. Once you've done this, you can fix any mistakes. And if there's a bottom like this, it won't really matter for me because I'm not even gonna have it like this anyway but if you don't like how the skin looks like down here you can even make 
the skin again just by getting the color and editing a bit and I'm gonna zoom in to make the most optimal fixing okay here we go turn down the eraser so it can be more efficient perfect you want to go over here and put some text because that's a big important part if you accidentally erased part of your thing you can easily just hold control alt and z and it'll undo your mistake you can make small adjustments whenever you'd like it'll help make your image much better now i want to add some text what you do is you select the text tool you make it a bit bigger and you just write whatever text you want but for this video i'm going to call it how to make because that's going to be the first layer what you do is you double click here you click drop shadow outer glow and gradient overlay and you have to make your own gradient by clicking here and dragging these to fix them however you like i like to make mine like this orangish yellow classic youtube font and i'm fix my outer glow and drop shadow however I like you drag the text tool around here and then you type the second layer if it's too big like this you can go like this hit hold control and then hit T you can drag it down And if you mess up, you just hit this, and then try again. Bam. Now I want to do the final part. Drag it down. Holding shift. Hold shift. Drag this text tool. And do whatever words you want. Bam. Now that's arranged how I want it. Now I'm going to find the Photoshop logo and put it in the bottom right corner. So you type up Photoshop, and you're probably not going to be typing exactly Photoshop because you're not making the thumbnail for this video. But you click on images and pick whatever image you like. So I'm going to pick a logo for Photoshop. Pick this one right here. Open image in new tab. Perfect. Hit copy image. And now, control T. Alt shift drag down. I'm gonna put him right here in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my layer with the person, drop shadow, outer glow, and I'm gonna put and then I'm gonna go to outer glow and I'm gonna change it to white. Nice. And I'm gonna change the size to three and I'm gonna do the same thing for the Photoshop logo and if you want to add anything else and you have any questions about how to do this just let me know and that's good for that thumbnail right there so what you want to do is you hit file go to export render video and call it whatever you like now you click render and it'll be right there whenever you want it your thumbnail will be right wherever you saved it. And here's right where the thumbnail is. And you've got it perfect. Now that you've got your thumbnail, you want to go to your YouTube video, pick up this thumbnail, and put it right where the thumbnail slot is. And there you go. You've made your Minecraft thumbnail. Congratulations. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, do all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. By the way guys, I really appreciate you guys all for watching the video. I really hope you will keep on doing that and support me. Well, thanks. Bye guys.